Welcome everybody to Saves Together, the podcast about playing games together, whether that means co-op or passing the controller back and forth or just playing the same game at the same time. It doesn't matter how, it only matters that it's together because when you save together, you stay together. I'm Craig McGowan. I'm Grace talking to you from the treehouse. That's right. Of birds. It's it's the summertime, so you're going to hear a lot more birds because the room we record in Last year we had an air conditioner. Let's let's have the saves together air conditioner segment. Okay. Last year's updates. AC updates. Last year's air conditioner was one of those ones that is in the room and then you run hoses out the window. But here's the deal. Air conditioners, what are they supposed to do, Grace? Cool your room. And did that one do that? Not really. No, not at all. So while it was easier to open the window, pull the hoses out, and close the window for recording, it uh, didn't do anything. Those are bad. Those don't seem to work. I was really excited for that type of air conditioner. Yeah. Uh, but it's stupid and so bad. So we, we have a window AC one that works a lot better, but it just means the birds. Are the birds be that live outside, vocal. directly outside the window. We can I look watch, at them. Uh, I watch a little bird in her nest every morning out what, through the window. Have you named them? No. They deserve to be nameless because they're free. They're free of our traditions. I'm going to name one of them Cage, and the other one's going to be named... The Elephant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> great band. No, I don't, I don't really like them. Uh, they're much. great. Well, yes, they are actually, oh, okay. actually very good. I just know good. that one song. You know that one song everyone knows. I watched him uh, Jesus walk on the crowd, and then someone gave him a pineapple, or maybe he had a pineapple with him. I don't know, but he, was, he took bites out of the pineapple just raw like he bought he he bit the spiky part of the pineapple and he was just spitting it all over everybody it was really cool it was pretty rock and roll and speaking of rock and roll what game are we talking about today we're not speaking of rock and roll are we well i just was i mean isn't that like a transition to signify we're about to talk about something that is also rock and roll well there's a music part there is a music part, so I guess that's, I guess that's, there's not really any rock and roll in the music part, though. That's all, the whole time, it's like, bump, Oh, wait, you're right, there is some rock and roll. And it's pretty good. That's probably the best part. There you go, that's my review of the game we're going to talk about. We're playing not It said. Takes Two. It Takes Two. I mean, we played it, we beat it. We beat it, and now we're talking about it. We did it two days ago. Um, and it took us two and a half weeks. But we didn't play that long because... Like, we didn't play that frequently because Monster Hunter is still a very good game. Yeah, it's, it's still a pretty short game it takes to, though. It's like, I'm trying to think of, like, how many hours collectively, maybe 10? Mm -hmm. Less than yeah, that, probably. Like, 7 to 10. Long. Yeah. Which Not I think, too long. I mean, let's, let's talk about solo stuff before we really start talking about that. Okay. Um, I don't think I did the part where I said the episode number. So, this is episode 64, and we're talking about... It takes two. But before we get to that, we like to talk about what we've been playing by ourselves in our solo time. So, Grace, I feel like you've got a laundry list. Is that a thing? A laundry list? Um, I don't make that. Why do people say laundry list? I just realized. Isn't I, that a saying? I, I, don't, I don't know. I've got a laundry <laughs> list of things to talk about. I, I don't say that. But have you heard someone say that? I think maybe I've heard of it, but I don't think I've heard someone say it in real life. So, but like, why would someone need a laundry list? This is just, this is just hit me just now. I don't, I don't know. Uh -oh. I'm, gonna, I'm opening my book. So I have my games in here. You've been playing a lot of things. Yes. I was trying to catch up on some games after I beat near. Um, I don't even know if I talked about that last time, but I played near replicant. I think in the last episode I had started it or maybe I was close to. So I beat that I beat near replicant. What'd you think? It was good. I liked it a lot. Um, I think I like Near Automata better. I don't know. They're both good games. I'm not like as big a fan as some people are for Near, but I still think it's really an interesting world and the combat is very fun. So I feel like with Automata at least, and probably with Replicant, but I didn't hear it as much. People talked about like, oh, I hit that part. I was just crying my eyes out. I yeah, I, I, I never when I only watched a little bit of you playing and but even in talking to you, I never got the idea that like it was that powerful of a game. I guess not for me, but yeah. I think that for other people, that's that's no, valid. It's fine. That's totally valid. Yes, I just I wasn't very sad. I don't know. I maybe maybe I I don't know why. I just like I think it was. I think it's fine. I think it was good. But 
No, no buts about it. It was a good game. <laughs> uh, and then I beat Later Alligator on Switch, which I thought was very cute and fun. It was a little, short little puzzle game, and I really liked the art. I beat the sexy Brutale. I said that funny. Brutale? I don't know. Brutale. Um, Brutal. It, which is very good. I think that was one of my my favorites out of all the little like indie shorts I played. It's a puzzle game, but it was an easy puzzle game, which is how some people critique it. And for me, that means it's very good because I'm dumb. So I, whenever I play a, a good puzzle game for me is like easy, but still I have to do things, <laughs> but it's like not immediately like apparent what I have to do, but it's also doesn't take me very long. So I really like that game. I, and then I played Abzu, which is like, like a one sitting experience, very pretty, like through the ocean. I liked that. Lots of fish. Um, and then I played Goro Goa, which is also a very short, like one sitting puzzle game, which I liked. And you also, <laughs> you also speaking of Gorgo, uh-huh. you also thought it was a very long puzzle game. Yeah, well, I was confused because I wanted <laughs> to save it, but I could, I didn't know how to save it, and it wasn't telling me how to save it, and I thought I would lose all my progress if I turned it off, so I just beat it. Right, but so we were gonna play Monster Hunter, and you're like, okay, let me just, you know, give me ten minutes to finish <laughs> this puzzle, and then thirty minutes went by. You're like, okay, sorry, I just, I just gotta get to the end of this puzzle, and then. An hour went by. You're like, sorry, I, I really don't know how to save this game. I think I'm still in the puzzle. And then yeah, an hour confused. and a half went by and you said, you know, I think I'm about to beat this game. Yeah. Oh, well, it was good. It was a very, it's a very good game. You should give it a shot if you like puzzle games. A little bit too hard for me, but I got through it. I did look like two things up. No big, you. Deep, no big deal. And then I played Spirit of the North, which I did not like because I just thought it was frustrating. It was, it's also a puzzle game, but more like an exploring the environment game it, the environment's really pretty you play as a fox in the snow and the woods and i like that part of it but i just thought some of the platforming was not great and some of the puzzles were stupid so uh, two out of ten um and then, <laughs> <laughs> two out of five and that and then i recently started um world's end club which came out yesterday and i'm playing that on switch so lots of games How's that one so far? That I, I bought because of the art style, but I don't know if it's a Craig game at all. I, I like the story. I, I don't know about the gameplay yet, I see, I see. Um, but I think I'm going to I'm going to muscle through regardless because I, I like the story and I like uh, I like the kind of games that these two guys make. It's the makers of Danganronpa and the 999 series. So and is this the first time they've collabed like this? I don't actually know. Or are they like, because those games, games seem similar. They they are pretty similar. They're slightly different, but you kind of get more. I would say this is more on the Danganronpa side of style and tone than it is on 999. What's which that, I, like I like 999 or, better. Or Just wackier. Wackier? Yeah. Okay. Like more over the top. And, and, and I would say 999 is more dark and serious. Okay. And you prefer 999. Yeah. But they're both pretty wacky, so I think it works together. Cool. So what have you been playing? Well, not much. Just Pokemon Snap, pretty much. And you beat it, right? Oh, I beat it. And now, I, because of the leaderboards, I'm making sure to beat everybody. Have and you I, already I crossed my number? I'm sure you have. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I stopped playing, so it's not that weird. Uh, yeah, that was, that was early in the days of the leaderboards. The friends you were, leaderboards, uh, right? Not the yeah, actual... no, not the national one. What's Just your, my friends. What's your national leaderboard rank? Do Probably you know? like a million. I don't know. Okay. Not not good, but I just want to make sure I'm on top of my friends. That's all. Yes, um, that's all that matters. As long as you're matters. better than your friends, you can live life knowing... As long as you're better than everyone around you, that by default makes you the top dog. Well, not by default. You had to work for it. <laughs> I assume you're working for it. Mm, no, it's pretty easy, actually. This game comes natural. Yeah, I'm just a natural photographer. I went to film Pokemon. school, so like it's not oh, that hard. True. To play, you know? Even though the rule of thirds <laughs> truly does not factor into this game in any way. Yeah, no. Um, I really, really like Pokemon Snap. Can we talk about it quick? What did you think of Pokemon Snap? I really like Pokemon Snap. I yeah. think it's so cute. A lot of the pictures I took made me happy. Like it has it's a nice game because the goal of just doing it is enough. You don't really need to be unlocking things, but it does a good job at giving you new encounters very often and mm-hmm. there's so many pokemon and a lot more to do than there was in the original yeah. so i think they they really um they really figured out what they were doing with that and i i like it it's very it's very adorable it's just a cute little game if you like the first one like yeah you'll like the second one it's really that simple or if you like pokemon in general you know yeah it's beautiful too for being yes like and i love that when you beat it you unlock a sunset level where it's just like wait okay what? now you get like a really pretty level oh the That's, reef at sunset yeah yes wait, um, wait did you get blastoise yet 
Uh, yes. Okay, yes, dude, that was a sick moment. So what I really am <laughs> impressed by... There's so many by, sick moments yeah, in that game. What I'm really... The first game, I understand it was N64. Things were different. But like every time you go through it, it's exactly the same. Yeah, right. In this one, I... Legitimately, I'm pretty sure every time I went through the levels, I saw something new. Yeah, for which sure. Which is mind-blowing. That, that's what I was saying. It was, it was cool that they do. Right. It's like... It feels like they're constantly giving you new encounters. Um, so yeah, even if it's just one, like, oh, the Emolga this time. I didn't, I didn't see him before. You know, yeah, something like that. I feel like I had so many moments in the game where I'm like, oh, like I'm gasping yep. or I'm like laughing because it's so cute and surprising. Like, like, did you have the pincer uh, fighting with the Heracross? I never got that. It, I never because awesome. there was a hint like, that he would do that. Where was the Heracross? He's hanging on a tree and you have to uh, bash him. See, like, there's so much in the game I, I didn't get to, so I kind of wanted to. And I probably will go back and keep playing just because there's probably a lot of stuff that's really fun and different. And I, I want to know if like what all the Pokemon are. Like, are there yeah. any other the legendaries one... besides the the one that you see that you have to see? Does I Shaman wonder. count as a legendary? Is I think that... it does. I didn't see Shaman yet. That's I, the one in but... the other level with uh, Megana Meganium, right? I, I guess so, but I didn't. I saw one there, but also I saw one. No, here's the deal. I didn't see one there, but the game says I did. And I'm curious if that's a Oh, that's glitch. funny. Maybe you didn't realize you did because it's like um, hidden in the flowers or something, right? right? But I saw it in another level. Oh, like, okay. Clear, very, you know, Wait, yes. which other level? The did first you see one. It? Really? Where? Yeah, see, I told you I'm good at Is it thing. at the very end in the in the meadow? That seems that's like one where Shaman them, would be. Also, it's just around. Oh my gosh. I want to, I kind of, this makes me want to go back and play because right. it's so cute. Well, what's great about the game, I'm going to definitely keep it in my Switch case and like on the train or something if we're traveling bring it with me because it's perfect for like i just want to do two runs you know like yeah I, I had to start keeping track though of which that stars is gonna, I'm that's missing. my main complaint that's my main complaint too i not feel like you stars, should be able to but... open up your pokedex in the route mm -hmm. because like not knowing i i had to start writing it on my phone i was just like okay here's what i'm going for which is an interesting way to play a game but i do think at this point we should just like have a notebook within the game that that tells us i don't know that's for a little frustrating because i forget it's like i've already gotten that one. Oh, i didn't even realize yeah for me the stars was still annoying to like have to not annoying but something to try to remember to do mm -hmm. but also i just wish i knew how many pokemon i could see on a level so i could know if i'm like well, uh, i'm looking for one more guy oh like like total like i you want don't know. i want to catch them all right that's what i kind of want to do in this game yeah. But I don't have a great sense of how many are on each one. And like I said, a new one shows up every time I go, so I don't really get... The one you know, thing that does help is the hint system, I think, is yeah. pretty good. But still, even that is, like, not not totally clear. Right. So. I would, I'm would. i pretty sure the first one had just, like, a, a you know, a who's that Pokemon looking screen. Well, it was all 101 also. So it was kind of simple because it was like, yeah, it's it's the whole Pokedex that has existed up until this point. This one, there's just no way that that's the case. So it's like, how are we supposed to know, you know? Right. At this point, at some point, I feel like you should just look it up because it'd be more fun to just know where they are, at least for me. But, you know, when you kind of run out of uh, seeing new stuff, I guess. So I guess what we're saying is to play Pokemon Snap, it takes two screens, the phone to look up the Pokemon and the Switch. It does. It does sometimes if you want to be the Pokemon Snap Master. And speaking of it takes two... It well, takes two, the game. Why don't we talk about it? It takes about, two. It takes two. <laughs> Let's do it. Developed by Hazelight Studios and published by EA. Uh, Hazelight are the people that made A Way Out and Brothers. And, and it's the fuck the Oscars guy. Let's just, you know. <laughs> and we played A Way Out, um, and then we did an episode on episode it. Episode 10, I think. It's like a real old one at this point, which didn't... I thought it was like episode 30. Like, Ugh, I, 10 funny. felt real far away. And Brothers is on our two playlist, yeah. so... Eventually, we'll have all the Haze-like game. co-op games under our belt. It Takes Two was released for the PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, and Series X on March 26th, 2021. It Takes Two is a co-op only narrative experience. Like like very similar to A Way Out in that it's co-op only. Yeah. So it's um, clearly it feels like their thing now, right? Game g game mechanic wise, very similar to A Way Out. What do you mean game mechanic like wise? Like forced split screen story where two players have to experience the story, narrative story. 
But then, yeah, but I would but say then, there's a lot more for gameplay in this one okay. than way out. Uh, okay, structure wise, very similar, but tone and style and substance very, very different. Yes, it's also a forced co op game, is what we're saying. <laughs> Just what like I mean, a way out. yeah, right. Uh, well, I but guess yeah, what I'm saying screen. more is it's a linear story yeah, but right. about these two characters, but this is not serious like a way out where they're breaking out of prison it's not very serious at all i think it's pretty serious yeah i guess I it is say. actually now that I say <laughs> actually that. i think it's more serious than you think but it's a lot more whimsical as well yeah just based on what's as far happening. as like aesthetic goes definitely and we decided we will not touch on the story much until we've already rated the game and we'll give you a pretty big spoiler like okay like <laughs> stop listening now you know yeah in, in case you want to experience this game yourself yeah I would say you should play it before you hear about the story. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I think. Because I think some of the fun of the game is the surprise that comes along with everything that happens. So not just in the story, but in like all the little moments and the gameplay. So right. we'll try not to touch on too much of that till the end. Yeah. And it's like a what's the genre? Uh, I would call it like an like an action adventure mini game. Almost Platformer. like a Mario Party ish. <laughs> Yeah, I there's put, a lot of mini games. I wrote down variety show. Yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good way to put it. It's it it it's definitely like like you said linear, but you're running around in third person and and there's just a huge variety of like platforming and gameplay and mini games and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's like my favorite part about the game. Yeah, yeah, is how it's definitely different. Really cool. Everything is. So let's touch on the factors. Let's start going down the list here. Type of co-op. Um, it's couch and it's online. And if you buy one copy, your friend gets to play online for free, which I think Brilliant. is great. So Love if that. you're holding out and you don't you don't know like, oh, I can't I don't know. I don't want to try to convince a friend to buy this like they don't have to. You can just be like here. You can just play for free, which is awesome and such a great way to like uh, do co-op. I know like not everyone's going to be able to do that with their games, but it's nice not to have to buy two copies of something. <laughs> It yeah. might also be on Game Pass because it's an EA game and EA oh. Play is part of Game Pass. Oh, I, I wonder if it is. Don't don't quote me on that. Let's see really quick. I can look it up. Uh, while you look that up, I'll move on to separate mode or full. It's the full mode. You cannot play this solo in any way. Yeah. And it's always split screen. Even if you're playing online across the country, you're seeing a split screen screen. It's not on EA Play or Game Pass okay. at the moment. Okay, okay. So, but it is on, you know, that one I, free online. So. I bet it will be soon. Not okay, not soon, but someday, because prophecies. It's, you know, EA's being told thing. here now. <laughs> probably, you're probably right. I mean, a way out eventually was, wasn't it? I th it must be. I don't really remember because I don't. The EA deal with Game Pass makes Game Pass even crazier of a like good yeah. deal. I can't get over game pass game pass is crazy when we talk about it almost every episode. i know the bubble has to burst right like <laughs> they have to be like okay we can no longer afford i don't know maybe not maybe it's maybe it's worth the cost of people buying game pass i'm not sure yeah uh this game has really good uh some of the sections so as we said it's it's very varied every you know every 10 minutes you're doing something new almost some of those sections have very very good relying on each other's abilities stuff are we talking about the f category uh i have that later but i just wrote it i, I wrote it down in type of co-op but i guess yeah it fits to the later complementary skill sets yeah 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 because um, this one's interesting in that it's it's kind of multiple right so i guess I, we can save that but it's fun <laughs> it is it is fun control scheme how are we playing this thing xbox controllers oh wait yeah, where no, we play <laughs> we played it on playstation playstation so we're controllers. using the ps5 the dual well, we were just sense. talking about xbox so that's right. why i got confused but yes we played on playstation 5 and it doesn't do much with the controller you know how the controllers like the fancy right, rumbly no. triggers and everything it doesn't really do any of that stuff progression things to unlock not uh pretty no pretty much nothing, nothing but the but the mini games so yeah, because at any point when you unlock a minigame, you can go back and play it on the from the menu. Yeah, so outside of the story-based minigames, like, oh, you're you're this is a puzzle where you're riding sleds. There's also like, oh, now you're playing chess. <laughs> yeah, and it's there's a separate just thing. Little you know? things. They're kind of hidden. Like, you don't have to find them, but you look for them, and they're competitive. So all of a sudden, we're competing in, like, this cute little whatever minigame. And there's a ton. I mean, there's, there's a like... Lot. There's a shuffleboard one. There was one where you just play like a little arcade game. There's rodeo. I mean, so many. Ooh, bird fight. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes I really do that and it works. It feels like I'm yelling at a dog or something. Shared loot or XP? No, because there's no there's, there's nothing, nothing you're nothing. you're gaining, there's no levels. It's all about progressing through this world and the puzzles that you're doing together. Yeah. The only thing you're progressing is seeing the narrative. Yeah. Friendly fire. Uh, not really. No, in some of the sections, there's a way, probably, that I, I can't think of a great example, but I'm sure. It seems where, like there's really not a lot of ways to get in each other's way, which yeah, is good, because that would be bad. Definitely good. Like, you can ride rails in this game. You ride rails quite a bit, kind of like Sonic. And if you're riding the same rail or going opposite ways, it's not going to affect anything, which yeah. is good, because uh, in the whole game's co-op, you don't want to have to do that. Like, the only thing I can think of, there'll be some instances where you're controlling the platform, and if you drop oh, the platform sure. and raise another platform, I'll fall. But right? that seems more but on that's the lines not really of the puzzle. Fr- yeah, you know? that's like, well, you that's not really friendly fire. Yeah. But you could use it as a way to troll. Sure, and we did. And it was fun. <laughs> good checkpointing. Like, yeah. you would die and then not get, you know. It was pretty good about that. Like, there was never frustration on, like, how much we died. It was not hard in that way. Yeah. Interruptive actions, which kind of falls in line with that. Yeah, so no, no not, not nothing. Gameplay wise, there's no dr- screen drag or screen warp. There really wasn't much. And the split screen, I think, really worked. Yeah. Um, you're very, you're like a small little toy person, basically, and the world is quite, quite large, and you're zoomed out enough that it never felt like we needed more space. So it, was, it did a really good job. We never actually, now that you say that, we never really touched on what the game's about. Well, should we, should we, I was thinking we would go with that in the story, but just to give a just little opening, synopsis. Yeah. yeah, it's it's these two parents of their daughter, Rose, who the, her daughter is, their daughter is responsible for essentially like transforming them into these two little dolls because her parents have been fighting and are going to get divorced and she's very upset. And so the two dolls then meet this book that came to life called Dr. Hakim's Rules of Love or whatever. And Dr. Hakim decides that they need to learn to collaborate. And that's the whole point of the game is these two parents who are fighting and are not nice to each other learn to like become a team through all the crazy adventure they're sent on to essentially try to be normal again. Yep. Perfect. And so we'll touch on that at the end because I have stuff to say and ask (laughs) about the whole setup of the story. Yeah. But I I really love the... The toy nature, like the t- yeah, you get, you get really toy storied, cute. you know, like the, the whole vis- the visuals of the game outside of the the way the humans look is are amazing, like yeah, really that, amazing. It's kind of jarring though when you go back to the humans and they look <laughs> they really look, bad. look so bad. But the but the whole world that you're in when you're a toy is so cool, and there's so many different worlds, so the aesthetic changes wildly, mm-hmm. and it's it's awesome. It's it's like a lot of the reason this game is fun is just getting to see the crazy places you get to go. Yeah. It's really cool. It is very, yeah, like you said, very Toy Story-esque. There's even a whole toy world, and it's awesome. And and it's, like, in your house. Not yeah, always. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you go to fantastical places. It, but it gets, yeah, it, it's, like, essentially in the house, but it definitely goes into them, like, like, this is not, this is just crazy. The imagination of, yeah. so there's a castle in Rose's room. Right. And then you go in the castle, but it's not one-to-one. It's Right, a, it's huge. It's giant, yeah. Uh, is this a pizza party game? I argue yes. A, a little because bit, of but the mini games. how long is your pizza party? Yeah, I guess you Not, can play all the mini games yeah. as the pizza party. Like you could bust out just the mini games and have like a little tournament of like who's the best at uh, chess. baseball <laughs> or chess. <laughs> the chess game. Yeah, that that's, chess actually that. F- as as cool as it is that chess is in there. I don't think that one's very fun. Well, it just made me stressed. I mean, if you like chess, but also you can see the screen. This was this is what I was noticing, and at the end, I you started can see what doing people it. are looking at. I can see yeah. what you're looking at to know like you've seen this guy or not. Yeah, you know, you've seen this. Yeah, piece. it's not a chess game, yeah. but it's cool that they put it in. It felt like they put in any competitive little game they could think of. Yeah, so I respect that. But yeah, you're right. As far as real chess goes, this is not. No, you'll just know what people are thinking. <laughs> oh damn, we better don't don't play it then. The chess isn't good. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you're trying to play complementary skills so this is what we touched on earlier because i was excited about it wait so is this not part of category i guess i forgot why we have this part of the factors uh because we don't talk about it if it doesn't happen but it's something that i really really love about co-op games I see. when i, I can see, do I see, something I that you can do and it makes yes. a bigger effect or we have to rely on each other's skills yeah, not all co-op games do that and it's usually in team workers for uh, crew roles it's in crew yeah. roles most of the time not always because like marvel has that moment 
of doing that with the we we keep using that example of Iron Man shield yeah, and the, the Iron Man Captain America shield combo. That's the you know. So in this game, they like we said, there's a lot of variety in gameplay, and so it seems the way they the way they do it is every new world. Uh, often you get a new power, essentially a new like element to the gameplay, and we always get a different one, and it's almost always complementary. So one example, and this is an early level, you're in a wasp's nest, and I got the uh, the blowtorch. It was a rocket launcher, essentially, and the uh, Cody character who Craig played got um like. It was like wax or like honey. I don't yeah. even know. It was some explosive like goo he could shoot. So he would shoot it at a bee and then I would blow the bee up with the rocket launcher. And that was like the... So it was really fun. That was the best one of those. There was a lot of different kinds of doing it too. Yeah. So there was one where... Um, I'm trying to think. The singing. The si- that's also the one. I was trying on to go it. more early in the game. But like, you, have a, you have the ability to sing while I have the ability to throw a thing and they just... You've got to be singing while we're traveling. Right. They make know. it. They make different kinds of ways to complement each other based on your skills. There was one where I could make a clone of myself, and then he could stop, uh, control time. So yeah. there's like a ton of different things you can do, and it's really fun because it changes. It is like that's the essential like facet of like good co-op gameplay, and it changes as you play. So it's not the same kind of co-op gameplay you're doing the entire time. So even though like I always played as May though the wife i i got different powers as as we played there's also one where i was the knight and you were the wizard yeah so and you played little, a little this was the dra- the most drastic change it turns into diablo for a second yeah it turns into yeah. a top down you know i'm trying to think of what isometric action it kind of reminded me of that one game i played evil land where hmm. like the gameplay keeps changing based on like you're unlocking new kinds of games through yeah. the ages. Like it was a little bit like that where but here's the, it's here's, clearly inspired by other games. Yes. You know, the thing about this game for me is it kind of felt more like a demo disc of things they could do in the future. And there wasn't enough of the, some of the best ones. Sometimes like I felt like, yo, I want to do more. I want you to explore this concept more. We only but I think we me, only did this thing for for 15 minutes and it's really cool. But you could do harder, more challenging puzzles. And I and I really liked it. I and, think that and now I don't get to do anymore. A different game then. You know, I think as this is like they, they accomplish what they set out to do, which is the variety. But yeah, but I just feel like some of the variety I would have. I, I think you could go back in and take out certain parts and and extend other parts to make it a little more. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I, I liked the variety. I didn't want to actually stay very long in anything. I, I kind guess of, not necessarily longer. I was addicted to the change. <laughs> not, not necessarily longer so much as more unique use of the... Th- like, yeah. generally everything was pretty simple. Shoot the bug, shoot the bug. Okay, done. You know, it mm-hmm. wasn't like... I don't know. Some of the puzzles... The only reason that that thought popped into my head was sometimes there was a glimpse of like, whoa, that's a complicated... You know, that's a complicated I, I am glad use. that it was simple, though, because I think you could introduce this game to somebody who's less mm. into video games. And I see um, a lot of people have done that with It Takes Two. I feel like it's so kind that, of challenging. Cool. Like, I think it's, it's not, a good transition game yeah. when you started playing something that's not so challenging. Because if someone dies, the other person can carry them through, essentially. So if you are interested in getting into more, like, a little more difficult game, because uh, you're right, it's not super easy. But it's but also not difficult. This is yeah, this is like a medium one for that type of That's thing. That's exactly what I'm saying yeah. though. Like it's a great transition game if you want to get more into games, maybe with whoever you like a friend or a partner that plays a lot of games and you're not into it yet. Like I feel like it takes two is a good transition game for that. There are some times where you have to perform. Mm-hmm. Like and if you don't, we can't progress. Mm-hmm. And I am not good at platforming. I have weird depth perception problems in video games for some reason. <laughs> um and and it was like well we can't uh, do you want to do this i can't move on you know only a few times did that happen but Mm -hmm. it certainly was frustrating for me to be like i'm letting you down now and like you know you're you're (laughs) making fun of me i i deserve it but it's like i don't i can't do this so it's okay it's just a game at the end of the day you know not (laughs) every we can't be good (laughs) at everything we talked about we we bought this if we should buy this game for someone who whose partner does not play games that often and like no you really can't right i think they would have to play a a couple games to try this one difficulty of the co-op speaking of this of the co-op i think i mean since it has to be co-op um 
it most, is what it is. Yeah. Like it's never, you're never making it harder because you have a, your okay. co-op. So it's, yeah. so it's, I think, you know, as easy as it can be. But you're working difficulty together. of the game at certain points. Yeah, I think little... at this point it's difficulty of the game because yeah. this game is co-op only, which is not the most games we play. So it, it can be hard, like it is, but it's not, it was never that challenging for Isn't, us. Yeah. There was just moments, like you said, of like hard platforming or like we would die fight. during a boss yeah. fight, but never more than once. Most Nothing of the time. is extraordinarily hard. Yeah. Nothing frustrated us to the point of like, oh, we're done. This is right. so annoying. You know, like it never got to that point. But it was also never the point where it's so challenging. It's it's like fun because of that either. You know what I mean? Right. Like you were saying about wishing things were a little more complex. It, it never gets to that point. I felt there was a lot of this isn't really related, but I felt there was a lot of like, OK, now get the now collect the three of these to move on. Yeah. Now yeah, collect yeah. the three of these to move on. It felt a little stringent in structure. I totally yeah. agree. Like and I think. Sometimes that works because you know to expect a new gameplay element and I got excited for that, but sometimes it felt a little tedious. It was like, okay, yeah, we get it. Like, it would have been nice to change up that structure a little more. Yeah, because I also think that structure is somewhat boring yeah, design-wise. I agree. But there's so much variety here that it doesn't really... Yeah, it, doesn't, it really, doesn't affect it so much. Yeah, it doesn't taint it too much. Intensity. Um, not very. I would, yeah. sometimes it got a little intense, like the competitive games were so intense in a fun way, or, um, some of the boss fights could be slightly intense, but it was pretty low key, like mostly a relaxing game, I would say. Yeah. With slight medium spikes. Yeah. Right. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Competitiveness of the co-op. Just those cute little mini games. Those and, mini and, games get rough. And we also like race each other too. We're like, okay, who's going to get there first? Like I got there first, that kind of thing. Because there's moments where you are like basically trying to platform and run through a section. And then you get to a point where you have to wait for your partner to help you like open the door. Yeah. And so we would try to race through and who could get the first. But there's a, a healthy amount of competition that is built into the game that I like. The, the mini games? The mini games, yeah. yeah. But then, it, but the co-op part itself, they're never trying to make you feel like you're better than the other really yeah you're clearly like both essential to the to the process which is ideal co-op stuff yeah very yeah. fun like there's not enough co-op games that do this this kind of the complementary skill set thing strategy or tactics mm, not really sometimes yeah. during the boss fights we'd be like a little bit of strategy but it was pretty much like we could just fi figure it out <laughs> yeah it was a lot of you go here. It was a lot of in-action decisions being talked about. Like, yeah. It was yeah. never, there was no prep. And most of the time I was like, wait, what do we do? Oh, hit the mirror or whatever. I don't, right. You know. And then communication, last factor here. Yeah, we would sometimes have to talk through a puzzle. Like, most mm -hmm. of the time, I, I liked the puzzles in that they were almost always pretty simple. Like, you could figure it out by looking at it. But sometimes we would figure it out. Remember that one with the bridge and, like, with the magnets? So we had to figure out how to like move the bridge magnets. together with the magnets. I had to go to the oh, other side. Yeah. So it was like interesting. So we would talk through puzzles in that way. And I thought that was fun. But most yeah. of the time you could play most of this game not really talking very much. Right. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And they had like a lot of dialogue. The characters are constantly, constantly talking, that, and which is great. And the, by the, the way, it's voiceover is good and the yeah. lines are good. The Cody especially is very funny. Cody's really funny. Uh, Dr. Hakeem is good. Like, I feel like I laughed quite a bit playing this game. Yeah. So that's, that's very great. Um, and the VO is great. So good, whoever did the VO. Hats off to them. <laughs> so let's rate this game. Or do you have anything else to say before we rate it? Because then after we rate it... Talk about the story. Okay, well, I just want to say it has hats. So that it has doesn't, to be it does factored. not it doesn't really it basically no 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 no. it, it does it's funny that it has hat in one section you can pull a hat off of a guy and put it on your head so it's funny because then it gets the saves together hats bump i like that but you don't get funny. to keep the hat it's not like you unlock the hat to make your guy customize and you know what they should have by the way they co yes. totally could have done that each level each level could, could have, have had, had a thing like this hat. was the snow one so now you've got a snow hat you know yeah. this was the night level where you literally wore a wizard's hat can i just please wear the wizard's hat yeah i i agree I think that's that's the last thing I wanted to say about that. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think this game is very fun. It's a great little adventure. Good the gameplay. variety rules. Yeah, I think that what Hazelight's doing with co-op is is great, and I look forward to seeing what they put out in the future. Because I think this is better than a way out. Like this is an improvement as so far I as wanna, gameplay goes. Do we? You can talk about gameplay. Do we talk about this versus a way out? No, I think that needs to be in the story segment just because well, I want to touch saying, on story stuff. Forgetting story, gameplay-wise, I think this is a more game, interesting yep. game. 
gameplay like, wise complementary skills were used in this and not in a way out yeah a way out we were just most of the time running or driving and shooting in mm -hmm. a way that felt very like generic yeah. and it was fine it worked for that game but i think this game did so, so much more interesting things so that's i can that. touch on this later more if you need this game is definitely more interesting the whole time and more fun as a co-op experience the whole time but i don't think it ever reaches the thing that a way out like for some reason at the end really just like was so interesting and like yeah. re reinvigorated my whole opinion of the game yeah it didn't it whereas didn't here have it that, stays relatively stagnant it didn't have that same like emotional beat of like wow it didn't have yeah. that wow factor it did i mean a little bit but not in the same way it had visual wow factors left and right where i was like yeah, oh my god this sure. is amazing look at this little guy look at this thing you know um okay let's read it well i wish there was a toy box mode where it was just uh -huh. an open space and all the tools from the game were available. I think there would be, I think you could do something with that. Yeah, because be there was cool. a lot of little interactions that weren't mini games. They were just like, put the penny in the piggy bank or um, like there's a little carousel you can ride. It was really, really cute stuff. Like I was really happy they put so many tiny interactions that a little bit similar to a way out had. Mm -hmm. Remember when you're walking through the house and you can like play the instruments, play the and... piano, like stuff like that. There's like, there's also little rhythm games in this, which I love. I love whenever there's a little rhythm game in anything is great. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that would be that's a good idea. A like little toy box. Mode. Yeah, like there's rails all over the place and there's magnet puzzles that you can use while you're using the jetpack, you know. Right. All right, let's rate it and then. OK, well, I think I would give this an S. Oh, cool. Me too. Is that what you did give it? Yeah, yep. I don't think it was a double or a triple in any way. Yeah, I just don't think it had it. Like you said, didn't have enough of um. There was no oomph. It was yeah. still very fun. It's still very good. And I will suggest this to I many, mean, an many S people. Is a, an S tier is <laughs> play this game. game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You should play it. An S tier is like you need to play it almost. Like, yeah. It's a that co -op, good. A co-op must do, I would yeah. say. Um, but it doesn't have the like favorite game. I right. won't. You know I wasn't. I mean? I'm not like thinking about it after I play right. like Monster Hunter or something else. You know, I'm not like wondering what they'll do next really. So, you yeah. know, it's not. Not that high, but yeah, I don't really want an it takes two two. <laughs> I want uh, a... it takes four. I guess it would be <laughs> it takes two squared. Yes, I would rather have them take some of the ideas. That's when they have a second trial <laughs> and expand it. Yeah, no, I agree. You know? I agree. I'm I'm with you on that. Okay, so with that, if you think you're gonna play it based on what we said, which hey, listen, you really should. Yeah, if you're and then the you should come games, up, and then you should it. come back to this section. Yes, because now we're and gonna listen talk about to the what story. we're gonna talk about after you've played it. Because the story is like a whole other thing separate, in in my opinion, from the way the gameplay is handled. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, it's interesting. So this is what we're going to talk about. So it. go away. <laughs> five, four, three to one. Okay. I just want to say I love the talking squirrels. I loved anything that was talking <laughs> and would be inanimate was yes. very funny. There is like a moment where you go to a club with the glow sticks and there's like a glow stick bouncer. That was all very whimsical and cute. I love the love whimsy that. in this game. I love the, yes, like being small. So first of all, I probably have mentioned this already on the podcast many times. I love being small in a big world. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> so yeah, this yeah. has plenty of that and it's very good. And the squirrel commandos, First the wasps and then the toys in the castle. Like yeah, the clown was so good. There's a, And then it, it had these just very strange, dark moments. Like the tone of the game is kind of strange. Like, first of all, you're playing as two people who are getting a divorce and their child is so upset about this and blaming herself. And you're being forced to like work together because maybe you'll get back together. And and is the implication or I like at least I, I don't know it felt vague enough to me that it worked and i know it i, I have a feeling you're gonna say it did not work for yeah, you but no. i think it was vague enough that it was like i don't really know what the game was trying to say as right. far as well, should that's, they, that's why <laughs> for, let me just say the ending really quick the ending is Which they part? kiss. Okay. Okay. So they have this whole song part. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she sings a song, which, by the way, was very strange to me. What song she sang? It was just like a. Like it was a, the. It was the frozen song of the forest, or whatever, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. No, a little bit like that. But it essentially just. I thought she was gonna sing something like high high well, key because what, there's rave glow sticks. Yeah. So the the aesthetic <laughs> of the stage that they're in yeah, doesn't yeah, make yeah. sense to the to the. To the thing she's basically humming. She's not singing. She was all nervous for like the last 30 minutes. She's been nervous about this performance. Mm -hmm. And it's her just going. Oh. 
Like, okay, what's? It was it was pretty but funny. What I think is really strange, I really think this would have been a better ending, and it's basically the same thing. They both sing. It takes two. Well, yeah, I just wonder if they couldn't like. They, they maybe maybe do it was that. a licensing, but. No, or, no, 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 no. What, he should not have sung. I think he should have because it takes two to sing that song. But the point was... You have was, to work together to use your skills to come together and no, make this masterful art. The point art. was it was about her passion, just like the what gardening. Was her, pa- her passion was never her passion mentioned. passion was singing. But but that wasn't enough of a story beat to be the ending story beat. It, well, the we ending We just story learned her beat, passion was singing in this section. Because it wasn't about her. It was about supporting each other's passion. I think that there so should have been supported, more about that. He supported his, her passion and she supported his. So right why is her passion the important ending note and his passion I just think that was, that's how it ended. I don't know. Well, that's what I just... Because <laughs> like, the gardening was before that. Yeah, but that, that doesn't have so a nice... So you're saying it felt like it put more Thematically or, or... Yeah, that, that's Structurally, fair. it's like, what... That's valid. I, I I see what you're saying, and I I understand. It should have been a little and, more like a it takes two situation. Right, and then they could have had the song that was from the trailer, and they're both just I think they're both just jiving, singing together. They're looking at each other. They're like, yeah, actually, so, this is fun. We're having fun together rather than supporting each other, which is very important in a relationship. The relationship of the two of these characters does evolve throughout no. the game. Where at the beginning they're talking shit to each other like constantly in a way that's annoying honestly like the yeah. way they insult each other it's more may to cody than cody to may like may is just brood and then eventually that lightens up and they're ha- they're clearly having fun i think it works i ended up liking the characters by the end more cody than i did may because mostly because of his vo and the lines he got he was like more of a funny guy um and they kind of work through their issues a little bit and then by the end um it feels like they're seeing from each other's point of view and then they kiss which is controversial but by the end, they Rose is running away because she feels it's her fault. Like, they become humans again. They chase her to the bus stop, which I think is very funny. She's like, no, it's fine. You can go back. She has a little British accent. I'm going to take the bus now. I'm running away. And they're like, no matter what happens between us, we'll always be there for you. And they walk back holding Rose's hand. So I, I bought this ending because it didn't feel like the game was saying they're back together. It did not feel like that to me. Even though I they guess kissed. it just didn't go far enough. They, yeah, so they kissed. But I like that it was vague because it was it almost like you could make your own decision. Like maybe not, they could get back. Maybe they could rekindle their relationship. It's but possible. why? That's not. That, that's why also, not? I guess my biggest issue is I wanted a more um, nuanced them to take decide. on what divorce means. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it? Should it be a negative thing? Yeah. Which, I, I, no I, is I, the I answer, that. by the way. But I wanted them to really explore the idea that hey, you can get divorced and stay friends and support your daughter. You could even live together. But that's I, you know how I, I feel mean? you could interpret the ending. Even but though that's kiss... interpretation, not like, yeah, they kiss and it's all about finding their love, rekindling their passion, reconfirming that they're, they're supposed to be together. But here's the other thing. Why Maybe can't they're not you have supposed to be together. passion People don't for your always... friends? Why can't you kiss your friends? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what I'm trying that's, to say That's fine, is... but that's not what the game's talking about. That's a, that's a whole nother I don't think the game, game is deciding anything by which the Which is boring. I like which that. Which means it's a stagnant, boring no, game for no, me. No, no, no. It's like I it didn't go it. anywhere. I thought it was fine. By the end, I was, I was okay with it and I thought I was not going to be okay with it. So it was a turnaround for me where i was getting like confused about where i was going and then i was like okay like oh they're there for the child like that that was the point for me being there for the child regardless of what happens to them it was about rose which is which is good but i don't think the game actually did that that well other than the last part that one final yes i mean you're right because they here's the other thing (laughs) they're not very good parents they had this whole moment where they're like we're going to make Rose cry because we're pretty sure so they think, that's how we can be they humans think her again. tears can heal them. Can fix them. I don't even tears, remember why Her they tears created that. them. She oh, cried right. onto the dolls that that's she had right, made of right. her mom and dad, which is kind of weird too, isn't it? Uh, the, no, not that weird. That Making she made like dolls? detailed dolls of your parents. She's a fucking artist, I guess. So um, yeah, they think her tears will solve their problems. And which is so funny. This is funny. They And this is also the best part of the game. <laughs> they, they decide they're going to kill... They're going to like break the her favorite toy, which is this cute little elephant. And you have to travel all the way to the top of the castle. And that's where the queen elephant lives. And it's, <laughs> she's so cute. And she's like, you're going to have tea with me. And then you kill her. And like, she's not <laughs> evil in any way. It kind of it, it kind of suggests like maybe she's the evil queen that we need to go stop. And it then you get in there. It doesn't really even suggest. And then you get in there and she's like, hi, we're going to 
play. And then you like drag her. You're dragging her by like mashing your buttons to like the cliff. And as that's happening, her her arm gets ripped off. Her because trunk she, gets ripped off. Her <laughs> ear gets ripped off. She's screaming in pain. It's so She's saying, no, up. don't do it. And, and you're like, yeah. Scream. It's very funny. It I was the upset. best part of the game. It's very upsetting. It's very <laughs> it's gonna dark. Stick with, that's the one part of this game, I think. Aside from the trailer song, that's gonna stick with me forever. <laughs> it, it is funny because then they kill the elephant and they're cheering as their daughter is crying, and you're like, "What?" The <laughs> they're fuck? they're yeah. <laughs> they're in they're taking a shower in her tears. They're like, "We did it! Honestly, Our daughter is miserable." <laughs> you're right. Like at the end of the day, you're right because what I'm saying about Rose is what I think the point they were trying to make, but. They're not good. Like they're not almost ever thinking about Rose right. throughout this game. They're only thinking about each other and their relationship, which is also important. Okay, I'm not saying it's all about the kid, but because it becomes all about the kid by the end, it's right. like it's very weird because it's like you guys are just kind of selfish. Yeah, I just don't think it was. Hey, listen, you don't come to this game for the story, in my opinion. Yeah, but, but it is funny. It, it is. was like, it doesn't say anything. It, it felt, you're right. I think and it's by not, the end, I don't it think... couldn't decide what it wanted to say. Yeah. And well, I was not okay that it couldn't with decide. It. it just didn't ever have anything to say. He yeah, was like, I'm yeah, going to make a story true. about this. Oh, it'll be about a divorce. Okay, the ending, they'll be maybe together. I, I feel you're right that it could have been better. It could have been stronger had uh, the kiss probably not happened. And they could have reconciled, but had told rose they were getting divorced but it's okay we will still be friends like mm -hmm. we respect each other we see what happened we see what went wrong and now we're gonna go our separate ways but we're still gonna be there for rose like that would have been i think more of an interesting and truthful ending to this and it felt you're right like it, it just kind of was like okay well whatever <laughs> yeah so but like you're saying you don't come to this game for the story yeah. and it's fine it didn't like bother me so much sometimes it was just like I was just confused. Like at some points of the game, I'm like, where is this going? Like where what are we doing <laughs> with with Cody and May? But it's whatever. It was interesting at least. I think it's pretty telling that we gave this game an S must play, and yet the story sucks. I wouldn't say it sucks. I would just I say it, it wasn't kind of. done as well as it could it's have been. Uh, yeah, okay. It's just like one note. It's it just it like, doesn't yep. suck because it's it has something there that we're actually talking about it. Like yeah. it could have had nothing. You know, and I feel like I, okay, yeah. they tried right. something, right? But and we were kind of interested because we're like, where's it going to go? So we were a little bit grabbed by the mystery of it. But 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 it, it never goes anywhere. And it doesn't yeah. matter because yeah, yeah, it does. The, the reason you play this game is because the game is fun to play, which, right. which is this a is a medium. Reason. This is a medium that has multiple, you know, it's I feel like games is really interesting because you can have a the story is really good. You have to play this. The uh -huh. gameplay is really good. You have to play this. A mixture of both. So one and not the like when it's, they're it's both cool really good that's i feel like the golden the golden point but yeah but but not always because like always. monster hunter what what a story, story? Trash. what yeah. story <laughs> and it's one of our favorite games so yeah. but yeah, that's not what you go there for and that's fine and right. but I feel generally like, a movie i mean i guess there's times where it's like visually it's cool but the story sucks but yeah that's true that you, doesn't generally drive it as much as games can i feel swing. like but what what like the most pure form of story is is books because yeah. there's no visuals there's no gameplay like you're just you're just reading that book that story better be good <laughs> right because if it's not like you stop reading it but i think but, games has the a, a pretty cool luxury of being able to yeah. swing in either direction right right you know? right and try for both and sometimes one ruins the other and mm -hmm. that's always sad sometimes the gameplay is so bad you can't get through the story or sometimes the story is so bad, you're like, this game. You, for example, I just <laughs> tried to play Valhalla Cyber whatever, the bartending cyber yeah. game. Yeah. And the writing it was so egregious and offensive that I just stopped playing. Even though I liked the the visual novel and the bartending aspect, I just can't cannot play that game. So there you go. There's a story that essentially ruined the gameplay for me. So it can go both ways and it can complement each other. But, you know, we're getting really esoteric about games now but I, I i like, I like it takes two no i know yeah i think it takes two is worth playing regardless of the I, I what i think is okay about the story is it never gets to the point of like offensive you're like whatever yeah. you know <laughs> hey um where the hell did that book come from 
I think like, so. The trash can. They were like, yeah. I think that's so funny. At the end, you find out they're like, where did you get this book? And Rose is like, I picked it up from the trash. Yeah. And then Cody goes, well, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And I was like, I guess, well, tell your child not to take things out of the trash can. But why is this book in the trash? Because it was, okay, wait. Whose book? I wish there was more. Funny. I wish there was something to why this okay, book wait. exists. This just made me realize something about the story. This game, that book was thrown away because it was not a good book, right? Someone had that book and maybe it did not <laughs> solve their relationship. Oh, no. So hold now, on. <laughs> book was just sent to fix their relationship and so it did so badly that the relationship will never be fixed that's what it's trying to say because it was in the garbage um hold on a minute that's pretty funny <laughs> that that makes it funnier now that i think about it now that I, I really like, think about why the book was in the garbage and that the book was leading them on this the insane book quest the made whole them time. do this dumb quest to rekindle their passion and that's not the answer right. necessarily wait a second wait maybe the story's good <laughs> <laughs> no. it's still book. not but that's that's a funny like yeah fan theory almost. it's like because because the whole time we're questioning like what do you mean we're kindle our passion we're getting divorced the book does not listen to them the book does not care because the book is bad it the is book is not book. a good way to solve your relationship that's why it was in the garbage uh, hold on a minute <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i didn't really think about it till now well well that was it takes with that <laughs> <laughs> no, so I I was my friend asked me this and I didn't know how to answer. It takes two or a way out. Which is the better Hazelight game? It takes two. Gameplay? Yeah, you're probably right. Actually, now that we've talked about it and done yeah. this discussion, before I couldn't decide, but because the gameplay is so fun here, mm -hmm. this game's. I think it trumps the because one. because yes, a way out has such a fun and cool and weird ending, and it works so well. It's so powerful. You're only you're for us, by the other. way. Not only, but really, some people I feel like were a lot like, of people liked oh, it. I saw that coming. I was like, wow, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, we were so shocked, and yeah. I think it had a, it had such an effect on us, and it was so intense too. But I think because that's only the ending, yeah, like it was. You're right. Like most of the game was not that fun. It yeah. was fine. It was it was playable. Like. We mostly enjoyed it, but it wasn't as like enjoyable as it takes two because you're just going through so many worlds and they're so weird and fun and, and it's a different. little easier to pick up and play this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's good stopping. It's not points. a super important narrative like we've discussed. Right. So you can just pick it up and play the snow world, put it down, and play the next. You're playing the music world. Music mm -hmm. world is the the best one in this whole. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask like, what's your favorite world? The I really liked there's so many good ones i'm trying to remember them all the music one's very the music good. one is by far my favorite not necessarily there's a rainbow there's gameplay. a rainbow road you ride at some point i and they loved that. that they reference like, it directly I've, I've been here before what is this then you fall off and he and dr hakeem picks you up and he's like ticking it down it's very, um, it's very good the music one is not necessarily only because of gameplay that i love it so much the sound yes the, the music sound. is very powerful for me and it's just a pretty generic, like, kind of blues riff. Um, but it just really worked. And it was coming out of this. The, the speakers on our TV are not good, right? It's just generic TV speakers. They're really not great. And it still was, like, hitting me in the feels. I think that's how you say that, Oh, right? my God. You can't <laughs> say that anymore. This is 2021. Uh, but, no, like, there's something about that just blues riff below the fucking... Yeah, it was really good. I don't know what was happening to me, but I was like, this <laughs> is incredible. Yeah. Of, um, I liked that. I I really liked the toy world a lot. Toy world. Honestly, all the worlds were pretty space. good. I can't I can't think of a bad world. Yeah, they're all super. Different I didn't actually fun. like the first world, which was the garage. Oh because yeah, well the level was so floating platformy. Like mm -hmm. there wasn't like wait what's how we're in a garage why why are we on these floating platforms we're jumping across where's like the garage floor and the car and the you know uh -huh. but the rest of the levels did that better where there's more of a. I really enjoyed the the Whole little angry squirrels and the wa and finding the wasps and the bee and um uh what else there's like a weird underwater there was so much the the candy I can't even factory remember under the water the snow yeah mountain I like the snow place the snow place was cool with the magnets it's it, it's quite the adventure this game yeah um it's really worth playing if you have a co op pal that you want to play through like a game with and can commit in that way because it is a long ish game and. I would want to finish it if I were playing it. So, so yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Takes two. Oh, we have to do the ending segment. We have to head over to the ending segment. So it takes two. Just to recap, we're giving it an S, and you should really play this. You should go play it. Give you it probably, a shot. if you just listen to all that, you probably get played it, and you should get divorced. <laughs> get to just do it. All right. All right.
Hey, Grace, did you happen to bring a buried treasure indie game highlight of the week of the month? Mm-hmm. Cool. This is a game that we haven't played or tried, but maybe we will. But maybe we won't. We're just trying to give you a couple more games to look to for some co-op fun. Maybe. This, this game was very recently released on Switch by Teufel, published and developed by Teufel, called Teufel. Very, Very Valet. That, the good, good, um publishing developing name because it like a little they're like little toys this kind of goes well with it takes two in that way it kind of reminds me of toy cars but you're essentially playing it's one to four players co-op and um you're playing as these little like monster guys who are valets and you're trying to park your car wherever it's valet gaming i don't know if you've ever been a so, valet you'll know what it means um it's, it's like a chaotic team yeah, worker, right yeah yeah it's yeah. it's it's similar to um you know, overcooked or something like that. That it looks a lot to me. I want because I actually have seen this one before. Usually, I haven't seen uh-huh. the game you're talking about. To me, it looks a lot more like Get Packed, where it's it's kind of more zany craziness. Yeah, I I was thinking when I looked this game up, it really feels like there's a whole other co op category coming out of this, and that's the the you could just say chaos co op game or whatever, like a, <laughs> something like that. Where like the a, whole uh, where half of the point is that it's. Hard chaotic and chaos what's the one that we didn't like totally reliable totally reliable Delivery is an example yeah. um the, i don't think it deserves its own category but it's certainly like a it's a it's a genre a little bit of itself or at least a tone um yeah and tone. it's essentially Ooh. hey do we start adding tone <laughs> like uh well the thing about tone is it have to it. be more specific you to either story or gameplay so it'd be a gameplay tone or something maybe the what about atmosphere the play session atmosphere We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. <laughs> um, but it it's, you know, the whole idea is like, it's not very serious and it's pretty wacky. You're not going to like be, per- there's no, not going to be precise. Like that's the kind of thing I think when I think of mm-hmm. like a co-op, a chaos co-op game like this. So check it out. It's uh, very, very valet on, on Nintendo Switch. What's, uh, do, you, do you know Toyful's Twitter? At Toyful underscore games. Yeah. So check that out. Maybe it's cool. Maybe it's not. We don't know. This episode was about It Takes Two. Not very, very valet. Very, very valet. Cute. All right. Well. So, Grace, now's the point where you tell me where we can tell them where to find us on the internet. We have a website. It's at savestogether.club, so you should go check it out. And you can find links to our social media episodes and descriptions of our co-op categories, which is our special sauce i would say that's our secret sauce but it's not secret because it's it's right there it's it's our analysis of of co-op gaming and uh you know i like it so you should like it too you can also follow us over on twitter and instagram at saves together for updates there you go thanks everybody for listening and you know what's cool about this podcast is that no what's cool it i'm here it if it was just one person it wouldn't be as good yep it does take two it takes two to make this one (sighs) Takes it takes one to make bad jokes. Huh. You want to get divorced? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We can still be friends and raise a daughter. We're not married. We don't have a daughter. We have birds. We have the birds. Sometimes outside. I yell at them like they're my child. <laughs> Why was she so Rose? She was so boring. No, the Dude, May. She was just mean. I know. I didn't like her by the end. Right, Cody. Like, uh, do you, Cody was. Listen, cooler. I don't mean to like get. I don't mean to get like this but do you think it's because <laughs> this was written by a dude so like the dude got the funny stuff i did like the subversion of the fact that the dad was the stay-at-home dad and the mom that was very was, cool yes worked all the time and that was a big rift in their relationship was like you work too much and i and i never see you it wasn't he wasn't upset because he had to do the housework or the child care right and i was glad about that i was like okay progressive but you're right i didn't think about the fact that she was like highly she more unlikable like, very yeah i didn't like her she was like grading. i don't care it, it's like well i'm working i'm working hard to make this family money it's like yeah that's valid but you're also not a good person as far as yeah, i can tell it felt as like far as i can tell she had less points like yeah. you obviously you agree with the fact that she needs to work but she felt less loving than cody and hey this is something <laughs> divorce narrative constantly has this one person who works too much or relationship problems well to be fair that's always... a reason a lot of people get divorced is yeah. because of money but, and money has to do with this work the, what i'm going to complain about is it always ends up being, you know, I won't work as much. That's a good idea. I should stay home more to be with my family. Hey, it doesn't work that way. Money has to get brought in. 
You know, I don't know if that's always the narrative. I think it is. A lot of the time. I think a lot of the times the, the resolution is, well, you know what? I'll try to be home more with my family. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's, I'm going to put my phone down that's more definitely often. That's not a solution. Well, the it's phone like, thing's different. No, but if you're you looking at work down. emails, regard, societally, yes, we shouldn't be working from home. But I'm just talking about... Yo, know, if that's say, the if that's the expectation of the job, this person has this job and it may suck. That job may be awful and they should absolutely leave that job. But Yeah, it's less there, of an individual problem more you need of a money. society problem. Yeah. Like No, I understand. I get that. Generally but it's only people in the positions that they could leave. Yes, that you can need money, but also there should shouldn't leave. be pressure on the people doing it. Um I, I don't know where I was going with that. Well, because Cody was putting pressure on May in that way. But that's what you're saying. You're basically agreeing with the idea that, like, it's fun. Like, stop telling her to leave her job as the solution. That's not right. the solution. If the story, yeah, a lot of narratives like this have a section where they go, yeah, I'm going to be around more. Oh, right. How right. are you doing that? Well, sometimes you know? they have the option because a lot of these, like, divorce narratives are always like some CEO or something. But. But you that, know what I'm they saying? only have the option. It doesn't apply to the world. That only applies to the one percent of CEOs. Oh, yeah, right, right. So if I'm watching this, I'm supposed to take a lesson out of I this. I think their issue was more that they were just like not. They're nice not compatible. To each other. They're they're they clearly aren't compatible. Yeah, they didn't feel me. compatible. They like had she's fun, making fun but... of him for buying a vacuum, but then also she bought a record player or something that she never used. Like there was a part where you get trash. He I think gets, we're like, still going on about this <laughs> divorce situation. <laughs> It was like the first thing is like here's the vacuum you never used, and then the next boss is here's the toolbox you never used. <laughs> like it's the same. Here's you the guys, garden. Here's the garden you never used. Here's your vocal cords you never used. This yeah. uh, the story's bad, but play this game. It's really good. Bye. Bye. They threw Doctor Hakim in the trash. That was good. Bye. Say what you're about to say. Okay, I hold on, hold on. Say, we, we, we thought we wrapped up, but we're still talking about this. I don't think they should have kissed is what I was saying. Yeah. Because if the point was going to be Dr. Hakeem was in the trash for a reason, which is funny and Which I think good. is not the point. I think we've just but created a funny... But they said he was in the trash. Yes, but I don't think there was any thought put into that other than funny joke. <laughs> okay, but I'm putting more thought into yes, it. Yes, <laughs> which makes it better and more interesting. So, yeah, they. if that was the case, like you could have... The, the, you didn't have to change anything besides the fact that they kissed then, right? Because I think then a it's funnier like, story, a better story is it really doesn't work and it really drives them apart, actually. No, like, that would have been sadder. Like, it could have funny. kind of worked. It could have kind of worked. Like, yeah, we do kind of see each other's point of view by now, uh, but we're still getting divorced. We're still getting divorced. Like, we've been telling this fucking book for, like, forever. And then the book was in the trash. So, like, obviously. Find, yeah, I think the reveal the book was in the trash should have been a bigger deal. And then it should have been like, oh. Maybe they want you to no think wonder. harder about it, Craig. They don't, the audience isn't stupid. We I really think it. that we the book was out. only, I think the book no, was only right. in the trash as a bit. That's it. I, I agree. But, but I think it's very funny that it came out of the trash and was a bad book. I don't, I don't think that was the intention. But uh, man, yeah. is that good. Okay. That's wow. enough. Bye. <laughs>